Also new at 6 tonight, U.S. Senator John Ossoff and Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Michael Regan visited the Port of Savannah today. Here to announce a multi-billion dollar investment from the Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act. WJCO 22 News Brooke Butler was there for that announcement. And she joins us live now from the newsroom. And Brooke, they say this investment will help grow our nation's ports while also supporting the environment. Yes, yeah, Shannon and Greg, both Ossoff and Regan say that the investment will help support jobs and it will also work to reduce both noise and air pollution. This is a win-win for our economy and for local communities. Friday, Senator John Ossoff and EPA Administrator Michael Regan announced $4 billion from the Inflation Reduction Act will be going towards our nation's ports. We're investing in America like we've never seen before. The two chose to make their announcement at the Port of Savannah, seeing as it's already been rewarded $9 million to upgrade and replace older freight trucks, cargo handling equipment, and more with cleaner models like these. It's the mere fact that the President of the United States thought Kindly to make that announcement here in the Port of Savannah alone speaks volume on the work that the men and women for the Port of Savannah did. The new $4 billion investment will be spent in a variety of ways. The Clean Ports program will invest $3 billion in technologies that reduce harmful climate pollutants, and the Clean Heavy Duty Vehicle program will invest $1 billion to help transition heavy duty trucks and buses to zero emission vehicles. Regan says the investment has a lot of benefits. Together these programs made possible by President Biden's Investing in America plan will restore our nation's infrastructure, create good paying jobs, and build a clean energy economy that protects both the people and the planet. But with some Republicans concerned about the Biden administration's spending and the debt ceiling, we asked Regan what his response is. Congress will obviously have its discussions, uh, but right now we have some resources that we need to spend and some, some lives we need to protect. And Brooke, do we know how much of that $4 billion the Port of Savannah will receive? Not quite yet, Shannon Ossoff says that is still being discussed, but I do want to note that they are looking for input on the development of the two programs that Regan mentioned. I'll have a link on our website, WJCL.com, where you can submit comments. Shannon. All right, keep us posted, Brooke. Thanks so much for that report.